Welcome back. I am so excited to introduce Jen White. She is a local author here in Orange County and she has had amazing success with her first book. It's called Survival Strategies of the Almost Brave and it's a middle grade reader so if you have kids or grandkids at that age this is getting a lot of acclaim and so it's just really fun to have a local author here who has done so much for the literature, children's literature world. So Jen, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It is so much fun to have you here. How did you get started? Um, I've always been a reader when I was young and I didn't know that that was really a job you could do, I don't think. I don't know if I knew where books came from, I just thought they appeared. So I didn't really know I could do that. Um, I got my degree in English teaching and I started reading, obviously, a lot of children's mm -hmm. books. I had my first child. And after I had my first three, I decided I wanted to go back and get my wow. master's mm -hmm. um, of writing for children and young adults. Because you were clearly not busy enough yeah. right, with three small children. <laughs> it was my sanity. It saved me. It gave me something else to do. There you go. Um, so I put my energy in that. And this is actually the product of my creative thesis oh, wow. in that program. Oh my gosh. So I wrote awesome. part of that in the program. So you got a degree and have a best-selling book all in one. Yes. This is amazing. Yes. Wow. Okay, so a lot of people are writers. Yeah. Lots of people are fantastic writers, in fact, but it is so hard to break into this industry. So how do you do it? What are some of your tips and tricks? Um, I think definitely you have to read the genre that you want to break into. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know the genre, it's going to be really hard for you to write, write that genre mm -hmm. well. That's true. Um, and I think another thing is to network. I went to a lot of conferences. I met a lot of people. When I did my master's mm -hmm. program, I met a lot of different writers. So that really helped me. And then I, I think a lot of people want to write a book. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to sit down yeah. in the chair and write a book. That's true. Yeah. Even if someone is a good writer, it takes so much discipline outside yeah. of that right. to actually do it, right? Yeah. It it's takes hard. time. Yes. And you definitely have to make a point of getting it done. So what did you do? Because you had at least three children at that point. <laughs> yes. Um, I, I think the master's program helped because I knew that I needed to write to fulfill my requirements for that. Um, another thing is, is um, I would just set aside time every day. I think it's really important that you have to write every day, even if it's not going well, even if you're kind of hating it at the yeah. moment, mm -hmm. you have to make yourself do it and just mm -hmm. push through. Um, I think another uh, great thing to do is to have good support system. Like mm -hmm. I had a lot of people that were cheering me on and mm -hmm. very helpful and just very, um, like just wanting me to do well, so yeah. that was really helpful. Mm -hmm. And would you give them pieces to read as you were going, um, or? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted them to read secret. like when you were done, I right? Think I, yeah, yeah, I definitely wanted to finish it, but it was nice. You know, I could sometimes talk talk it through, or this is what I'm thinking, what do you think? And occasionally yeah. I may give someone like a piece of it, but mm -hmm. I kept it pretty close. Did you ever have a point where you were like, I don't know if I can do this? Absolutely. Did you? Okay, so what did you do? Um, I, well, okay, I had a point. I had an editor who, f I went to a conference and met an editor. Mm -hmm. She read the first 20 pages. Mm -hmm. She's like, I love it. Send it to me. So I was so excited. I was like, oh, this is it. This is my big yeah. chance. Mm -hmm. So she, three months later, she got back to me and said, I read it. I loved it. I, lo I think you need to change this thing. And it was like an important thing in the book. So mm -hmm. I, that essentially required me to rewrite the entire Everything. book. Oh and so gosh. I thought, I can't do that. I don't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. I met another editor. We had a similar conversation. And I told her, I don't think I can do it. And she said, write something else. So I took a break, and mm -hmm. I wrote something else. Mm -hmm. And as I wrote the other book, I started to get ideas of how to fix this oh, one. Oh, that's wow. a good idea. So you just kind of needed a fresh perspective. Yeah, I needed a break. That's interesting. So the closest thing I've ever done to something like this was writing my dissertation. And it was a very different type of exercise, but it was you know, like a full-length book, right? Yeah. And I remember one day I was just stumped. And I literally started crying at my computer. And I was single with two kids living in my parents' basement at the time when I was getting my degree. And my mom comes down like from folding the clothes. She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> and I'm like, will you still love me if I never finish my degree? Uh, and she's like, of course, you're just fine. And you know, and then like that was kind of all I needed to like, like OK, I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish. Yeah. But have you ever been at that point where you're just like, I just don't think I can write another word, you know? like. But you probably haven't. Like you, you were able to get through it, and like that was such a good strategy of like doing something else at the same time, and then just going back to it. Yeah, I didn't really realize I was doing that, mm -hmm. and um, even still, when they purchased this book, 
it was a two book deal mm -hmm. so they said we don't know what your next book is but we want to buy that as well wow and mm -hmm. even though that was wonderful that was a different it's kind pressure. of pressure that, that I pressure. hadn't had before mm -hmm. so I'm now writing the second book it's not it's, it's not a, it's a standalone it's not a mm -hmm. sequel and that has like stressed me out I think mm -hmm. and so I'm wow. just having to like push through it I know I, yeah. I feel like okay I know I did one uh -huh. I can do another so how long did it take you for this one <clears throat> start to finish I would say I had a lot of breaks in between I would say a good six years mm -hmm. I had two mm -hmm. more children I had um, another break I wrote another book that's not published right mm -hmm. now and then I went back and wrote that so it oh, well so this while. is really a labor of love yeah, yeah. this is no wonder it's so good it's been vetted oh. a million times it's I've read the book and it's it's wonderful oh, Every, everyone you. should read this book and it has uh, can you give us just like a little synopsis of what it's about for our viewers yeah it's about um, two sisters they are 12 and 8 and they get left at a gas station in the desert by their dad who they've just kind of reconciled with mm -hmm and they get left on purpose. Oh, no. And so they try to get home to San Diego by themselves. So it's definitely a journey novel. It kind of follows the hero's tale. Mm -hmm. And it sounds kind of scary. It's not as scary as it sounds. There's oh, some <laughs> funny things that happen. They meet, a, they meet so many different people that kind of help them mm -hmm. along their way. Mm -hmm. And so that's essentially what it is. What do you think it is about this book that makes everyone love it so much? Um, I think the connection that the sisters have to one mm -hmm. another, they are, you know, they love each other so fiercely, mm -hmm. they protect one another, and also they're searching for a connection to their dad who, at this point, is not quite ready to do that. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, your heart goes out to them, and also you want to make sure they get home safely. Mm -hmm. So that's the big So you're going to read to the mm -hmm. end. Yeah. Yeah. So was there personal inspiration here? I mean, um, did it just come? For sure there was. For me, um, there are two kinds of writers. There's a writer that sits down and has a good idea and plots it all out mm -hmm. and then attempts to write it. Mm -hmm. And there's a writer that gets a, maybe an inkling in of, of an idea but hears that voice very yeah. clear mm -hmm. and then they start writing. And I'm that second type. I could hear her voice talking to me. Mm -hmm. But I, when I was 12, I was accidentally left at the gas station with my sister, mm -hmm. not on purpose. Right. It was an mm -hmm. accident. But we were left for quite a, quite a long time. It was right. before cell phones and oh. seat belts in the car. You were laying down in the back and our parents didn't know was we got it, out. Was it a few hours? At least four hours. Oh my wow. gosh. Yeah. And they just didn't know I you bet, got I out. bet they thought we died. fell asleep. Oh you know that gosh. story of like you leaving a child at like the grocery store or the yeah. movies or on vacation and mm -hmm. that's what happened. So mm -hmm. it was um, me and my sister and my cousin, we all got left. And oh there my. was, it was traumatic. I bet. <laughs> no, I bet. Well, you've you know, been my dad, traumatic enough to yeah. write, to write in the inspiration. Yeah. Say, thanks, mom and dad. Yeah, yeah, so this is very different. That was the seed. My mom always wants to make sure, like, we did not leave you on purpose. And I'm like, I know, I know. So she, that's funny. It wasn't no, abusive. Yeah. My dad got left at a gas station once also, and he was one of nine children. And my grandpa had this numbering system, and he would say, everyone, count off. And they'd all say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And somebody said my dad's name, so he just started his number, oh, so they, they no. just drove. And so it was hours before they found him. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, but that, I, that so happens. So can relate. No yeah. cell phones. We can all relate. Yeah. Right. So, Jen, do you do any consulting, or can if there's an author that wants to get in touch with you to get some advice on, like, how to get an agent, or maybe maybe, like, some editing, maybe like pay you for an hour of your time. Is that something you'd be open to doing? Yeah, I do. I do that sometimes. Um, you can always reach me at my website. It is www.jenwhitebooks.com. Okay. So I'm there. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram. I do have a Facebook page. Also as Jen White. Uh, Jen White. Okay. Author. Okay. Yeah. So you can reach out to me there. I always get my messages. Okay. Well, thank you so much for thank joining you. us today. It was such a pleasure, and it's so fun to be able to, you know, stick together in Orange County and see all the awesome things that we're doing locally. Yes. So thank you. Thank I look you. Look forward to reading the book. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. We'll be right back.